Assalamu alaikum my dear students. Welcome to your chemistry class of standard 10. Hope all of you are fine and safe by the grace of Almighty Allah. Today I will start a new chapter that is chapter 11 Mineral Resources Fossils. At first we will know about fossil fuel. If we analyze this name fossil fuel then we will see there are two parts fossil and fuel. Fossil means remains of dead plants and animals and fuel means material burned to produce heat. So if we combine these two meanings together then it will be stand fuel obtained from dead plants and animals is called fossil fuel. Also you can define like this way. Fossil fuel is a non-renewable energy source formed from the remains of plants and animals that lived long ago. For example, petroleum, coal, natural gas, etc. And you have to know most of the energy which we use comes from fossil fuels. Or more simply, you also can describe the fossil fuels like this way. Fossil fuels are formed out of organic matter deposited and decomposed under the earth surface for millions of years. That means you can write the definition of fossil fuel in any way. And the burning of fossil fuels can result in water and air pollution. Why? Because fossil fuel mainly contains carbon and hydrogen. So when they burn in atmospheric oxygen, then they produce carbon dioxide gas and water vapor and you know that this carbon dioxide gas actually causes the water and air pollution. Now we will know about the fossil fuel formation process. Actually about 300 to 400 million years ago this world was full of forest, low marshy land and sea where different types of aquatic plants, phytoplankton, zooplankton are available. And for the passing of time, when these aquatic plants are died, their remains fell to the ocean floor. And after passing more time, about 50 to 100 million years ago, layers of sediment piled up on top of the remains of the dead organisms and this formed layer of sedimentary rock that means previously when the aquatic plants and animals are after death their remains on the sea floor in that time on that floor there for the passing of more time there is piled up what sediment sediment of more aquatic plants more uh, organisms and uh, uh, rocks sand seals etc they are form a layer on that remains of body parts of dead plants and animals and for passing more time due to the heat and pressure of the layers of sediments turn the remains into a fossil fuel that is petroleum, natural gas, coal etc. So actually the formation of fossil fuels are for the million million years needed. Now to become more clear 
you will see this picture this is the ocean and this block is actually the picture of about 300 to 400 million years ago so this is the scenario of under the sea under the ocean and there is presence who are tiny plants and animals and after passing time and about 50 to 100 million years ago follow here that plants and animals are remains here after death and on this uh, ocean floor there is um, make a layer of sand and silt and this picture is actually under the ocean and now at present and for passing mi million million years ago for passing million million years there are these remains of plants and animals and that sediments are gradually they are actually trapped under the earth surface and under the ocean and they are gradually turned into what oil gas etc so these are actually fossil fuel and like this way fossil fuels are formed since million million years or hundred million years now there are different fossil fuels are for example coal coal is also fossil fuel coal is mainly obtained from the plants previously 300 to 400 million years ago this world uh, which was actually full of big forests and in that forest big gigantic uh, plants are present so after uh, died these plants the body parts of these dead plants are um, trapped under the uh, earth surface and for the time being of million years and for due to different uh, reactions this uh, body parts of plants are gradually converted into fossil fuel that is coal and this oil natural gas kerosene kerosene is also oil using in uh, aeroplane or jet plane etc um, this propane gaseous substance these are actually fossil fuels which are obtained from both plants and animals dead body parts of plants and animals but coal is obtained from the plants body parts of plants now we will know about natural gas natural gas is mainly a mixture of different hydrocarbon gases hydrocarbon gases means gases contains carbon and hydrogen and also not hydrocarbon gases which are present in gaseous state and they are actually extracted from the surface of the earth in its natural state so this is called natural gas so natural gas is mainly a mixture of different gases mainly hydrocarbon gases which are combustible now we will know about the composition of natural gas generally natural gas contains 80 percent methane methane its chemical formula is cas4 that means one atom carbon and four atoms of hydrogen and this is the first member of hydrocarbon series and seven percent ethane ethane is the second member you will uh, know the configuration of this methane ethane propane butane and their physical state their carbon number their configuration you will uh, learn in this chapter so here now just uh, today you will know about the composition of natural gas so natural generally natural gas contains 80 percent methane 7 percent ethane 6 percent propane and 4 percent butane these are gaseous at uh, normal temperature and pressure the physical state of these four compounds are gas 
now others are three percent so generally natural gas contains these substances but the natural gas of our country is mainly contains methane 99.99% methane is present in the natural gas which obtained in our country for this the quality of natural gas of our country is best all over the world and this composition is generally for the generally uh, obtained all over the world for natural gas now we will know about petroleum fossil fuel which are obtained under the ground petroleum this also comes from the latin word and latin two words together make this petroleum word latin petra petroleum these words is taken from two words that is petra petra means rock and oleum means oil so in this sense we can say petroleum is rock oil that means oil extracted from rock and it is actually a thick flammable yellow to black mixture of gaseous liquid and solid hydrocarbons that occurs naturally beneath the earth surface that means uh, which we have seen under the earth surface there is uh, about three to four hundred uh, million years there is uh, formed a layer sediment layer and this layer contains what gaseous substance liquid substance solid hydrocarbons isn't it so that means all are hydrocarbons but three physical states of these hydrocarbons are mixed together uh, in these sediments and which we extracted from the earth surface uh, under the ground and this is known as petroleum and inside the petroleum there is present natural gas gasoline naphtha kerosene fuel lubricating oils paraffin oils etc actually this petroleum is extracted from the mine uh, using a process using fractional distillation column so we have to know about at first the fractional distillation column Fractional distillation column is a separation of mixture into its component parts or fractions separating chemical compounds by their boiling point by heating them to a mixture at which one or more fractions of the compounds will vaporize. That means fractional distillation is a process by which from a mixture their components are separated according to their boiling point. Now, follow the picture of fractional distillation column then it will be more clear to you this is a big column and uh, these are separated into different chamber follow here and in each chamber there is fixed a temperature range and this is the furnace at first crude oil crude oil means when uh, the petroleum which are actually directly extracted from the oil or mine then this uh, petroleum uh, is called crude oil and this crude oil is not actually uh, fit for use or suitable for use because these are opaque and uh, here uh, sometimes here bad smell uh, are present for the presence of sulfur so uh, and this mixture of hydrocarbons oil are not uh, directly used cannot be used directly for this um, this crude oil actually passing through this uh, fractionating column and uh, from here in according to their boiling point the different uh, compounds uh, according to their boiling points of this crude oil are separated from this column and they are used in different purposes for example at first when we will insert a uh, crude oil um, from the furnace through the fractionating column this is the uh, distillation fractional distillation column then 
at first at high temperature about 400 degree centigrade at high temperature these compounds lubricating oil paraffin wax bitumen these compounds are separated because their boiling point uh, range is about 340 to 400 degree centigrade so at this chapter uh, at this temperature these uh, compounds are separated in this chamber and uh, these uh, compounds are actually um, contains the carbon uh, more than 30 number 30 carbons carbon atoms in their uh, configuration and here lubricating oil these are actually machinery oil uh, used paraffin wax paraffin wax is uh, used uh, mainly uh, producing toiletries or vaseline and this bitumen this uh, compound is mainly used in road construction now you know that gaseous substance goes upward according to their nature so when the gaseous substance goes upward then gradually follow here temperature is decreasing and uh, and uh, when after separating these compounds and when the other mixtures are goes upward then in this chamber uh, whose uh, boiling point is uh, about 370 degrees centigrade or um, or a minimum uh, range that is 270 to 340 degrees centigrade in this range the uh, which uh, compounds which have the boiling point they are separated here such as industrial fuel oil then uh, these are actually and others these are actually separated here and they are used in different purposes as industrial purpose industrial fuel oil that means in industrial they are, they are uh, used in industry um, these uh, oil are used as fuel in different boilers furnace etc now gradually the temperature is decreasing and uh, in this chamber at uh, uh, at uh, 300 about 300 degrees centigrade this compound that is called diesel this compound is separated from the fractional distillation column and uh, this diesel you know this is used as fuel oil for uh, vehicles and uh, here at 200 degree centigrade kerosene kerosene is also a fuel oil which is used mainly in uh, aeroplane or uh, jet uh, jet engines this used this kerosene this is separated in this chamber and uh, then at uh, 120 to 15 150 degree centigrade temperature and uh, this uh, gasoline gasoline is also also called petrol or petrol is also called gasoline this uh, uh, compound is separated and total um, total petroleum out of total amount of petroleum 5% uh, is uh, about 5% petrol is present uh, uh, in total petroleum so this petrol is used uh, mainly uh, in fuel for vehicles and uh, at 20 degrees centigrade and uh, we will get the petroleum gas that is called natural gas so this natural gas is used you know this natural gas is used for cooking purposes and also for, uh, for uh, fuel of uh, vehicles etc actually these natural gases due to high pressure at first they are converted into uh, in liquid state and uh, inserted into the uh, or filled the cylinder and then they are carried from one place to another place or they are used so like this way actually from um, crude oil that is from crude petroleum raw petroleum different hydrocarbons are separated uh, and uh, uses uh, in different purposes uh, using this fractional distillation column so my dear students today up to this and in next class uh, i will discuss very very important mainly organic you have heard uh, organic chemistry mainly organic chemistry will start from the next lecture so you will uh, must uh, present over there when i will take the lecture um, and uh, up to that you will be stay safe inshallah by the grace of almighty allah so today up to this 
गुड बाय एवरीबॉडी